All right, hey guys, welcome to this lecture called the Big G. In this lecture, we're going to be talking about how to leverage Google to find specific search results, to find exactly what we're looking for. We're also going to learn how to use certain buzzwords or keywords that will help us in finding step-by-step -step instructional guides to help us solve our tech problems. I'm going to start by just typing three words that I have found to be really helpful and one is tutorial, how to, and the last one is guide. Now, you wouldn't type these into Google like this. I'm just typing them to show you what they are. I use these at the end of what I'm trying to fix. So let's say, for example, that I'm trying to figure out why my iPhone won't turn on. So instead of just typing iPhone won't turn on, which if I search for that, you can see that there are some results, some from Apple, some from How to Geek, some from websites that are authority sites and I'm sure would be helpful, but I want step by step. I want pictures, I want something that will make it really easy for me to understand. So I'm going to add tutorial at the end because usually those are very clearly laid out and very multimedia rich with photos and pictures. When I search for it with the word tutorial, you'll see that there are quite a few videos that come up and there's even a site here that will show you how to fix an iPad that won't start and I'm sure those principles could be applied to an iPhone. They list out specific steps here, one through three and then one through five, to tell you how to fix your iPad. But if that's not exactly what you're looking for, you could click on one of these tutorial videos. And on YouTube, there are videos that will show you how to solve your tech problems. Now, I'm not gonna watch the whole thing, but you get the idea. This shows you a great way to figure out how to solve some tech problems. I'm going to clear out and go back to Google. Now, another great way to find what you need on Google is to add the current year. This is especially helpful if you're trying to figure out how to do something, but the guide may be outdated, or maybe there's a new version of the software that you're working with, and you want your search results to be updated and current with what you're trying to fix. It's not helpful if we find a tutorial from 1997 about how to update my website, right? It would be really out of date. So in order to fix this, we're going to search for something. Let's say that you're interested in modifying your Nintendo Wii console. So I'm going to search for how to soft mod, that's the word we use, Wii. And as you can see, there are some good results from Instructables. Uh, GBA Temp is another authority site in the Wii soft mod world. And there's even some YouTube videos, which is great. And that's because I use the phrase how to, right? I get those step-by-step -step guides. But if you look, you'll see that's from last year. This video is from two years ago. This site's from 2011, 2009. These may not be as current as we need. So I'm going to go ahead and add 2015 to the end. And you can see that almost every result that comes up is from 2015. This one's from 2013, but most of them are from 2015, which is good enough in my book. So if we go to this site, for instance, let's take a look. Lagkill.net, what a great domain. Here we go. So how to soft model Wii to play backup Wii, GameCube, and WiiWare games. So as you can see, this was posted this year and it has a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to do every single thing you would need. And they've even included YouTube videos, which help me a ton, but if they don't help you and you learn better by reading, there's plenty of text here to read. I'm gonna go ahead and go back because I think I found what I needed. As you can see, these two strategies, adding tutorial, how-to, or guide, to the end of your search results, as well as including the current year, are incredibly helpful ways to find relevant and step-by-step -step tutorials to help you solve your tech problems.